Hey folks, welcome back to another video. And today we are gonna create another unusual chord progression tool because it's so fun to create these devices, in my opinion. Uh, but first I want to show you this here, Polarity Ultra Chord. I made this almost seven years ago in Bitwig Studio 2.0. And back then uh, Bitwig Studio introduced here the modulation system with all these fancy modulators. And I thought back then, hmm, maybe let's create a chord progression tool with this. And it worked and it still works seven years later. Uh, but today we have much, much better options, of course, inside of Bitwig Studio. I'm using here an instrument track with the Piano Tech VST on it. So nothing special. And we want to use here the note grid. So let's create this here. And in there, we have just a note in and a note out. And maybe I'll also give you here a virtual keyboard. So you can see what's going on actually with the, with the notes, right? And then we introduce here a transpose, a note transpose, and hook this up to the pitch signal. So with this, we can just transpose the notes. Okay, so then we can use a pitch quantizer here, hook this up to the transpose, and now we can input here our desired scale. I'm using a D sharp minor without the B. I don't like the B, don't ask me, okay? Um, so with this, we can't actually play r r wrong notes, it's impossible. just playing one note on the keyboard just by modulating this. It sounds nice because you just go up and down the scale. Pretty easy. Um, so then we can, let's delete this here. Um, we can also use now voice stacking here and say three voices or three stacks, okay? So now we play actually three notes, but with the same pitch. So we have to introduce here a stack spread modulator and switch this to value. And then we modulate you to transpose by, let's say three semitones. So now we have um, three notes like this, and they're all kind of, if we disable this here, three semitones apart, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three. But here this A, is actually not in the scale of D-sharp minor. So when we enable here the pitch quantizer, it's corrected to uh, A-sharp here. So all these chords you create with this modulation now are in the scale of D-sharp minor, no matter what you do. We can also do here um, A minor or C major. So you get the major chord here. I hope this is clear. Okay, let's go back here to D sharp minor. So we can also increase here the stacking to four so we have more notes. So the more stacks you have, the more this transpose goes up for each uh, stack and the more notes you create. And all these notes are more or less three semitones apart we modulate this here by three very easy right we can also modulate this by seven so each note is now um, a fifth apart let's go here for two three It becomes kind of jazzy. Um, the problem here is when you increase the voice stacking, of course, um, you go higher and higher in octaves and sometimes you reach the top, the highest octave, right? So we have to wrap it again. So we can bring in here a wrapper and I almost, almost do this in every video now. 
Um, so I don't explain it. Multiply. Divide. In a constant. And we use 10 for now. So now. All these notes are always between C3 and C4, no matter how many notes you introduce here. And maybe you can extend this to, let's say, two octaves, so you go for five. So now everything is here between C3 and C5. This is too high, so we go one octave lower. And we modulate this here by, uh, we have seven. So we can use your macro and we use this macro to actually modulate the modulation strength of this modulator by just using this here and then click here. And then you can change the amount. So all the way up, we have uh, then seven semitones. And when we pull this down, we have here zero, as you can see it, right? So we can um, kind of switch between uh, three semitones, two semitones, five semitones between each notes, and we can spread these notes apart. So I'm just playing one note on the keyboard. And we have here seven stacks, so seven notes we are generating. So with this, we get all already a nice variety of chord shapes and uh, chords in general. They are all diatonic, of course, so it's maybe a bit boring, but you can still get out a lot of different sounds and progressions with this. So we duplicate here our output. And here we want to create a bass note. So we use a different channel just to have a small difference there, a distinction. And we want to use the pitch signal here coming out of the pitch quantizer, not the, the wrapper, because we don't want to wrap the bass note here. And we use also an octave here, and we pull this down maybe one octave. And we have multiple notes now. In fact, we have seven notes uh, for the bass note, which is not what we want. So we use a voice talk here and hook this up to the gate and here we disable all the voices except the first one which is the bass note which is the lowest stack which is the root note you can see here the red one is the bass too many notes so let's pull this down and then you can play around and maybe find some interesting chords you like you can also use here uh, what's the name pitch 12 so with this we um, pull the leg here down it's by default it's I don't know one millisecond or something like this so I pull this down all the time um, so there's no leg uh, then we have here access to all the um, notes in a in a in an octave, and then we can modulate something with this. So let's say I play this note here, and I want to change this. Uh, maybe I disable here per voice. Also, this here per voice is off. Okay. So here with this note. I want to reduce maybe how how far apart these notes are, so I want to have a different chord shape. Until I find um, a sound that I like.
Or maybe with this here, I want to go one octave higher. Ah, that's maybe not so, so good. Or we can actually also use here talk for this and then say uh, with this note, I want to disable some of these. can um, take these modulations here and dial in some changes here and there for different keys and it sounds a bit different and you always get nice interesting chord progressions and all of them are diatonic and fit to your key right so it's um, yeah boring and um, easy at the same time more or less um, we also can do the same trick I showed you in an earlier video here uh, where we use instead of um, a dynamic pitch, we use uh, one, yeah, one static pitch here. And we maybe also want to use here only the bass note or the bass or just one stack actually. And this one plays here the root of our key. Different, a different channel in green now. But this is the root, sorry. And then, of course, you can record this then again into a note clip and create chord progressions with this. I put here this. Um, this preset in the description below so you can download it if, if, if you want to it's actually not complicated but it's so fun to play around with these transposings in here and uh, modulations and spreading out notes in fifth or in, thir in thirds or in i don't know in fourths and then come up with something uh, that sounds interesting and then add some modulation here on top for different notes different keys different modulations and you get interesting chord progressions sometimes, not always, but sometimes. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time and leave a like if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, of course. Bye.